Oh goodness gracious. Good morning, Internet. Today, we're going to do something a little different. Give you a vlog style. A vlog style video. This is how the morning starts. Me and Sam. Saying hello to the fur babies. And soon I got to go out there and let my good old-fashioned rooster out. Now, it's not my rooster. It's my landlady's rooster. But he's a big one. And the coop that he's in, he can't really get out by himself. So I have to let him out. So that's next on the schedule. Uh-oh. Water isn't on. That's a repair that's coming up soon. So let me just turn on the uh, water pump. Even though we could be hooked up to well water right now, I'm not. Because I need to fix my inlet, which I do have that. Uh, I need to fix my inlet, and I do actually have the material, so I can start doing that soon. We're going to turn on the water pump. It sounds loud. I don't know if that's good or bad. I was on the phone with my mom once, and I had the water pump on. And, and, uh, and while I was using the water, my mom was like, what is that jackhammer sound? I'm going to take that as a red flag that I need to go ahead and change the water pump. So that's also coming up soon. In the meantime, I just got to get the cold out of my eyes. I can't wait to see what this sounds like in the video. I was expecting like a... What was that? Oh, well, okay. Um, I was expecting a nice hum. That is not a nice hum. Mm. That's better. You know, when you get that cold in the eye and it start burning, I was at the burning stage for sure. All right. Ooh, I also got a twinkle. So I have these clips over here. Just so it doesn't fall. And, you know, I get to fall sometimes and I'll be upset. Now we're going to go to the bathroom. Y'all not going to see it, but you're going to hear it. No, actually, I'm going to just edit it out. Now, one thing you will not hear is the toilet being flush. And the reason that is, I actually go to the bathroom and the poo bag. Why, yes? Yeah, because I don't want to have to deal with the black tank. That's why. I'd rather do a camper style. I go to the bathroom in the bag, then I throw the bag in a trash can, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. I do have pine straw shavings in there to help for when the poopies come, to keep the smell down. For a while, I was trying to, like, extend the life of the bag by going to the bathroom more than once using the pine shavings, but now I just throw it out. Just after the first use. Maybe not the, after the first pee-pee, but the first whoo, number two. Yeah, then we just go ahead and throw that out in the trash. And um, it's working for me. And another reason why I don't deal with using the bathroom the way it's intended, it leaks. Not the toilet itself, but, like, not necessarily the tank, but the, ex the exhaust pipe. I don't really know what to call it. I don't really know what to call it. But the thing that if you go outside and you're dumping your tanks and you got to pull the little thingies, the little lever, whatever it's called, that leaks. In the very beginning, I did not want to use this toilet. And then I just had to go. Had to go. So I went, and I would say like the like two, uh, three days later, there was just like a whole bunch of flies near uh, the other side of the RV where you dump it. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I went over there, and I was like, I don't like that smell. And sure enough, the black tank leaks. Not the tank itself, but it just like the valves that's supposed to hold it from exiting out were bad. And then later on... I noticed that the exhaust, I'm going to call it the exhaust pipe. I will just show, show y'all pictures because I don't know what the real name is. That's what we're going to call it today. And then the exhaust pipe of the plumbing now looks like it has cracks in it. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. So, baggy it is. I am planning to get everything repaired. That will be coming up soon. But in the meantime, this poop bag will do just for me. Here's an example of what the poop bag looks like. Now, this one, this one, don't, it, don't, it don't have poop in it. This one is where I keep my little pine shaving. Okay. 
Okay. If you have a little farm or chickens, this is probably something you're used to. You can use it with chickens. They also have cedar shavings. Next time I'm going to get that. It's a little more expensive. I was being cheap. But seeing as how the bag that you can purchase will last quite a while, I'm definitely going with cedar next time. It has a nice little aroma. It smells real good. This right here just smells like, um, what's it called? Wood dust. That's not what it's called, though. That's not the word I'm looking for. But, like, if you are using some power tools and you're cutting the wood and then the dust that be all over the place, that, that's what that smell like. Whatever that's called, that's what it smell like. We we just going to put the real word up because it's going to come to me later. But in the, in the meantime, let's go ahead and brush the teethuses, wash the faces, and then we're going to go tend on the chickens. <laughs> Fanny, turn some lights on in here so y'all can see. Now, I did a quick tour of the RV, showed y'all what it looked like. It doesn't look as bad now, ignore that part, okay? But if you look around, it's getting better, you know. We still got work to do, but overall, at least I can sit down in the living room. Now, there's my chunks to there. This is his real name, is White Boy, okay. This is not a race thing. It's named after Jen Jack's cat in Poetic Justice. I know his not his, he's an orange cat. I don't care. Jen Jackson's cat was white boy. I'ma have a cat named White Boy. But I just call him Fatty. For obvious reasons, but we working on it. He does have a feeder. He don't care. He still be begging for food. This one right here is my youngest. Let me open up a curtain so y'all can see all the light. We gonna bring in all the sunshine. Uh, 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 uh. Alright. See enough. I think y'all can see enough of that. Alright. So then this is Lil Waka. She's my youngest. Her full name is Lil Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just call her Waka. And this is my old guest. This is my old man. This is Mr. B-Rabbit. Yes. Now, if you can't tell, all my animals, all my fur babies are named after either characters in movies or they're movie related. Now, we're going to head on out. And uh, get the chickens together. Here go the girls. Big man up in there. He might, because I'm taking too long. Let me get over there. Oh, and this is look. Now this is for the chicken, but this is literally the stuff I use for my bathroom. My camper style bathroom. All right, come on, biggest. Come on, biggie. That's really his name. See, he ain't too big to get out of that little. It's poo in there, but that's life, y'all. Let me tell you. he's making all that noise he's already been fed he's not getting fed the bee rabbit and walker need to get fed and these dishes are piling up but there's a reason that they're piling up 
because I don't have access to hot water. I do and I don't. There's a leak. There's a leak with my propane, so I keep it off. And even though I wash my dishes every so often just with the cold water, I really need to get it fixed. So we are going to try to tackle that repair today. In the meantime, let me go ahead and wash my hands. Stay away. Stop being great. In fact, you coming with me. Oh, no. Never mind. So now it's time for a part of the day that's uh it's refreshing when it's all said and done, but it takes me some time to actually get it done. I need to wash my ass. But I'm not gonna have any hot water when I do it. As y'all, like I showed y'all back there, the dishes is building up because I'm not using hot water for the dishes and I'm not using hot water with my shower. My propane, the tank is fine. However, as it moves through the system, there's a leak and I need to fix that. I'm going to try to fix that today. Y'all going to witness that. But in the meantime, I still need to wash up. It does wake you up. But that first minute, mm. It is something. But here we go. Got to get it done. So this is what the shower looks like. Not too bad. Let me move that out of the way. Not too bad. You know, good size. Now I do be struggling with spikes while I'm in here. Get this close. I mean, you know, I'll be busting them elbows. Luckily, I'm not too tall. Well, you know, I'm tall to me. But my, you know, identification says 5'5". Five, five. In my mind, I'm at least 6'1". But, you know, I got space because of the highlight. It's just you got to be real careful about how you get the moving. Now, when it's time to get up the nerve, you know what I'm saying? Like, things get complicated. First thing we got to do is close up all the windows. Like, it's a little nervous. I don't want the neighbors to see my goodies. So, it is going to get a little darky dark. You'll be all right. Y'all in a bit. We's just dressed now. We can go ahead and start letting the light back in. I no longer feel vulnerable. Mm, look at that sunshine. Yes, fatty. Just say hello to the world. Okay. Go old school on you. I don't know if y'all can see, but I can just see the hair all over the place. The sunlight just let me know it is literally everywhere. Everywhere! Everywhere. 
don't know who I'm trying to fool today. Y'all. Usually I just leave the house completely covered in fur. I'm going to try to fake it today, though. I'm going to try to fake it today. Reality. That's what we going with. Reality. Okay, so I'm dressed comfortable because comfort always comes first let me go ahead and get one of my tools so i can show you why i'm taking cold showers and why my water is um show you why i'm taking cold showers and what why i don't have any hot water for the dishes that's what i'm about to show you for a while, I suspected that I was um, smelling propane in the house. And I don't know if I was just tripping because I'm already uncomfortable when it comes to propane or if there was a reason for me to be tripping. So I went ahead and bought me one of these. It is a um, gas leak detector. Once I got this baby, I knew I wasn't crazy. I was feeling so much better knowing that by keeping the propane off, I was keeping myself and my fur baby safe. So I'm gonna show y'all where the uh, problem is. And this thing is lovely. So I'm turning it on and it takes about 30 seconds. There's a little timer. You can't really see with the light right now, but it takes about 30 seconds before it is ready for use. So now we ready. So now, let me finish telling you the story. So for the longest, I could tell that I was smelling propane in the house. I got this detector to figure out where it was coming from. And I'm going to show you where it is. I want to kind of describe it right now before we actually go outside because it's windy. I'm not certain that you'll be able to hear me. So outside, we are going to open a little panel that's just outside on the passenger side of the RV. And it gives me access to the back of the refrigerator. That's also where the propane is. The tank itself is fine. However, the system that leads into the rest of the RV is where the leak is. And it's near the beginning. Um, it's before it reaches the actual refrigerator. So the refrigerator can work off of propane or it can work, work off of electricity. Right now, I just have it working off electricity. What I was noticing is that outside the RV, I would smell propane. And then after a few days, if I kept the propane on, I was noticing that same smell inside the actual refrigerator. And if you haven't seen a refrigerator inside an RV, I guess I should show you now. This is what mine looks like. And luckily, I actually have food. Usually, I don't. <laughs> show off of the people. And I could smell it coming in here. I could smell it inside the actual refrigerator. And what I believe is what was happening is right here, you'll notice this little... I don't know what to call it, but this thing here will freeze up or you'll get like little frost here. And then the water from that will drip down into this little pan. And then that pan has a little drippy tube that goes outside and we'll get to see that now. And my belief is the propane was basically slipping in through the drippy tube thingy. I don't know the names. When, when I show you, you maybe it'll make sense to you. I don't know what it's called. Somebody in the comments, if you know what it's called, help me out, please. Thanks. Thank you. And then down here. Here's the propane tank. Currently, it's off. Turn it on. So now that the propane is actually on, it's going to make its way through this pipe. And then there's some type of igniter, which is mainly for the refrigerator. And then it continues through the rest of the system some way or another. This propane tank also feeds the furnace as well as the hot water tank, which is like on the other side of the RV. So right now we're on the passenger side. On the driver's side is where I believe the furnace and the hot water tank are located or something. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the burners real quick just to make sure there's no air in the system. Thing on, we gotta wait another 30 seconds again. All right, so with the detector, once you push the power button, you just have to wait 30 seconds to allow it to do its thing. 
So then you can actually place this part wherever you think there may be a leak or just follow wherever the propane tubes system go and this should let you know. So see this is where I know there's a leak. So right here, that's the problem right there. Here we go. That's where my leak is. I'm just hoping there's no other leaks. And because there's a leak right here, what I believe what was happening is this area would fill up with propane, then the propane would go into this tube here, and this tube goes into the refrigerator, which is why I was smelling it in the refrigerator. So we are going to try to unhook this or loosen this and then put it back. And I'm hoping that will fix whatever issues I have. If it doesn't fix it, we will be going to a professional. But first we're gonna try to DIY this. I can smell it. Let me go ahead and turn it off. We know like it. We know like it. Turn it off. Alright, so the propane is off. Completely off. Now, even though I just turned the propane off, there's still going to be some propane in the system. So, I like to bleed it out by turning on the burner. So, let's go do that. We're going to turn the burner on. Make sure all the propane that's in the system is out, and that makes me feel safe. I was going to clean this off, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the real life holy field. Like, this is how it is, people. I'll clean it later. So, to turn on the burn, I got to put it in the light position. You can actually hear a bit of the propane. You can hear the propane kind of coming out. Hit the spark. Okay, now usually that means, since it's not, that's how I know all the propane is out the system. Do another one just to be safe. Put it in the light position. Try to light it. Nothing's happening. So that lets me know there's no more propane in the system. I'm happy with that. Oh, wait. Let me turn it off. Turn it off. Do some more sparkish just to be certain. All right. Cool. So the plan today. I have watched the video on how to actually remove a refrigerator out of your RV. And based off the steps that were taken in that video, I am going to try to follow the first couple of steps in order to get that nut off or that little area where it's leaking, you can screw it off. I wanna just screw it off, screw it back on again. I'm just gonna follow the video. I am gonna give you a link to the video in case anybody wants to see the full video. You'll see bits and pieces of the video as well as I am trying it myself. I do know that there's a few items that I'm gonna need, so I need to start grabbing those items. So we'll see if they're already in the RV. If not, we will have to go to my little storage. Uh, which is just a shed outside. That's the one good thing about being on property. Property. I didn't have to actually rent out storage. I just bought a shed. All my extra stuff is either in the RV itself, as you can see, because it's still kind of unorganized. I also have a garage, which is underneath. I have a lot of stuff in there. And then I have a good majority of my stuff in the shed. The plan is to have everything that I don't need in the shed and then over time get rid of everything in the shed. So I will be doing some good old fashioned yard sales um, before I do my first cross country trip because I cannot be traveling with the amount of stuff that I have. It's absolutely ridiculous. I already did that trip once. That was from Vegas to where I am now. It was packed. It was heavy. When it came to going up hills, you can feel the RV struggling. I don't want to have to deal with that. We're still working on our um, minimalism. I thought it was going to be quicker and easier. There's a lot of things I thought that I'm learning I thought wrong. It's a learning experience, okay? Now let's go look for this tool. I guess I can make things easier for myself by just moving it, like, you know, do that. All right, electro is the extra extra electronics are here, and then we got this battery stuff. I'm looking for some WD-40. I think I have some. And if I do, it's not in here. Okay. okay. Not in here. So it looks like we get to check the storage. Mm. 
Okay, so that was a fail. Um, it looks like if I do have WD-40, is not inside the RV. So now we shall try the storage unit. It's also possible that I don't have WD-40. I just feel like I had some when I was still at the house. And a lot of those tools and items from the house are here somewhere. It's just, I don't know. I don't have, I don't. I don't know what I have is what the problem is. Here we go. So I was running low on toilet tissue, so I'm gonna take this inside. All right, so I went ahead and already packed up the storage unit. It's all closed up, locked up. I did actually clean up a little bit in the kitchen. Not much, I just organized the dirt. Uh, I do need to check on the chickens because by now they should have laid me some eggs. I'm gonna eat some of them free eggs so I don't go to the grocery store hungry. So let's do that. I like this. This is so fun to me. When I give me a little farm, it's going to be on and popping. Or, better yet, I would like to just start off with staying on somebody's farm. So, y'all got a farm? A little spot for RV? Let me know. Drop an invite in the comments. I will be there. We got some babies. We got some baby eggs. There's a few different type of hens, so we get a few different type of colors. I had no idea prior to this situation that eggs came in this many, uh, this much of a variety, or that chickens were so different. Here's my current collection of eggs. Um, ignore the pubic hair right there. Now I usually don't have this many to myself, but my landlady is currently away. So I'm the only one who's getting the eggs. And as you can see, I have way more eggs than one person can eat. So I'll be happy when she returns. These are gonna go back in the fridge. Usually with fresh eggs, you don't even have to put them in the refrigerator. So let's see if you don't wash them off. However, I have so many, we don't have to use the refrigerator. Okay, so we have enough for me and the fur babies. We all gonna be eating boiled eggs for the next couple of days. Let me get this started. This is a little electric pot. I love this thing. I need to get some more appliances that work off electricity. Things that have low voltage, uh, low wattage. Cause the electrical outlets in this RV. Can easily be disturbed. I learned that the hard way with my air fryer. I have that up there. Haven't used that because I'm scared I'll break something. We're learning a lot in this lovely little house of ours. So while we letting the eggs boil, we're going to go ahead and actually dump the gray tank because it is full. This is my control panel. Check the levels. And as you can see, gray tank is full. This isn't exact because that black tank, there's nothing in there. I don't really use it. However, I do believe the water from the bathroom does hit the black tank. It'll take me a long time to fill that up, but we definitely gonna go ahead and drop this.
dump the gray tank. Let's check the levels. Yeah, that definitely should be lower. They aren't perfect. I can also clean the tank. Oh, there we go. There we go. That looks better. I also need to clean the gray tank because it may be, uh, the sensors just may need to be cleaned. So we head to the store. Seatbelt song, safety first. So we finally went shopping. We got the WD-40. And I got the WD-40 because I did try to do this before and there was just absolutely no movement. I don't know if I'm just not strong enough, but I'm gonna take it as a sign that it needs to be lubricated a bit. So we got the lubrication. As a reminder, propane is all the way off. I've also bled the system to make sure there's no propane in the wires. So I am just gonna go ahead and get this all lubed up, the area where it leaks. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed. Damn, I probably should. You might wanna put something down to protect the other areas because I see I'm getting it everywhere. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. But anyway, it's in there. That's for sure, it's in there. Is that enough? You know what? Let me just get it from the top one more time. And I think that should be good. I'm going I'm to get something. I'm nervous now. Excuse me, children. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay. Okay, now I feel good. Got a little paper towel. Feel a little bit better now. Okay. Do I know what I'm doing? No? But the cool part about having an RV is learning new skills, and this is a new one. There we go. Let that drip down, get all up in them crevices. We're gonna unplug the fridge. There we go. Fridge is unplugged. I don't know how long this needs to be on there to really get in there. So I'm gonna just let that do what it do. In the meantime, it's making noise. I don't know what that means. Okay, so you you want to power off the fridge first, and I'm pretty sure this is safe. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself. But let's keep trekking. Just gotta check the video. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I did. Spray the WD-40 right right there. He pointed to it. I point to it. Yep, get it on both sides. I did that. Show sure did. Now, what you didn't tell me is how long to wait. You unplugging it, but I think you had already powered it off in the front. I had skipped that step. That's important. Not, you don't want to do that. Now, next up, he starts taking this apart. I'm going to skip this. Because first off, I don't know what that is. And second, I don't want to deal with what he does next, which is protect himself from getting electrocuted from those dang on wires. Twelve volt DC. What that mean? I don't know. Somebody go ahead and let us know in the comments. It says twelve volt DC, so I'm assuming that connects the fridge to the battery, the house battery. I don't know. What's important is the propane is off, right? That's the more important part. I hope so. Yeah. Yep. I got my pieces. So I need one of these one of these yeah okay so one go on this side uh-huh and then the other go on this side okay 
and then that allows me to loosen it up. I got that. What side, how, how'd you do? Did you go up as in squeeze together or pull apart? Okay, I got it. I did it! I did it! Alright, so this may be the reason that where it was leaking, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Let's get that on there real good and tighten it. Oh, that looks Maybe about the same as how it was before, I don't know. So let's just try. All right, so put it back on. And then we're gonna basically squeeze it, yeah. There we go. Think that's enough? Let's find out. Let's do it one more time. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, so I'll plug it back in. Turn the fridge back on. Turn this back on. Okay, so just to make sure the propane is feeding its way all the way through the system, I am going to hit this to light, get that air out of there. Maybe move this out the way, then light it. All right, cool. Now that should get all the air bubbles, if there are any, out of the propane system. That's my guess. I don't really know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna turn you off. And now we're gonna go outside and see if there's any leaks detected. So here we go. This is gonna see if it worked, if I was able to tighten it correctly. I guess that means it didn't work. And back to the off position we go. That's one DIY project that did not end the way I wanted it to. It's still leaking. It's time to go ahead and spend some money and call in the professionals. In the meantime, the propane will be powered down. I'm gonna bleed the system just to make sure there's none still in the pipes. The refrigerator is going to work off electricity as it has been the whole time I've been here. Dang. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel a little defeated. What is this guy doing? I feel a little defeated. But I'm going to continue to watch... Excuse me, Waka. I could have found another spot to sit. That's also an option. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, but it's quite possible this may be one of those repairs that just needs to be done by a professional. I definitely want to figure it out. However, I don't want to blow up my god dang on house. If I do have to get a professional, you best believe I'm going to be all up in a shadow watching everything they do. So if I happen to have this problem again, I'll be able to fix it. I hope you enjoyed the first vlog. I think it's perfect that my goal was a major failure. Because that's pretty much how life is from time to time. We must get up and keep on going. If at first you don't succeed. Pick yourself up and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Try again. Try again. See you next time.